family, today I'm giving those one-on-one -on -one breakdowns. This is where skills pay the bills, baby, and I'm going for it, even though it's all free. It's YouTube, and plus, I'm blacklisted, and I don't give a F. Have a nice day. God bless America. <laughs> so, family, like I said, today is going to be, a, a, we're going to focus on the house of Rosendo Mateo, number seven. Man, this fragrance is luxury, and I only paid $100 on Joma Shop. Family, don't chase everything new. Trust me, a lot of the old stuff, it is rocking, and this is one of them. Let me show you the fragrance. So there it is, guys. The plate makes it hard to see, but I put the box here so you can see. Rosendo Mateo, number seven. This is a bonus, guys, for you guys. After I break this down, I got a little bonus for you. And it all kind of works together. So look, I had to take pictures of the actual note breakdowns and stuff because I had to search for this stuff. They wasn't giving it up. Like, what I mean by that is they're only going to give you these three notes until you have a nice day. So I had to do some digging, and I'm not having a nice day. But I got it. Then it was a nice day. Look, you're going to have oud, vanilla, warm spices, woody, patchouli, animalic, sweet, floral, amber, and rose. So when you see the note breakdown here that I'm going to have, um, you can see all this come into play. And the thing is, usually when what I'm figuring out, because now I have to dissect fragrances, when these notes come together, they're all like a supporting cast for one common goal. That's the beauty of fragrances. So look, the top notes, you got rose petals, you got uh, floral notes, jasmine, middle notes, you got patchouli, you got sweet notes, you got spices, um, base notes. Hold on, guys. You know, I tell you, it is no fun. Base notes, you got vanilla, you got two types of oud. You got Thailand oud and Loethian oud. And you got Sam Samaya Benzoin, Sammy Benzoin, I believe, but it's spelled S-I-A-M. So this fragrance right here has a lot of great qualities, guys. This is a stunning fragrance, and I just can't wait to give you the note breakdown. I did my homework for you guys. I did my homework. So look, the rose petals in this fragrance are going to be sweet, fresh, slightly spicy, with undertones of green, fruity, and powdery notes. Just keep all this in mind, guys, because the ending is going to be great. Floral notes. Now, floral notes, when they say that, consist of many notes. So I'm going to give you a bunch of notes that are in the, in that floral note composition when they when they when you see that on a fragrance. So rose note, a floral notes consist of rose neroli, jasmine, geranium, lavender, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, violet, and pony. And as you can see, floral notes have roses. It already has rose petals. So you see how what I'm saying. Notes help other notes help other notes, and then. I did mention jasmine in floral notes, right? Well, now they have jasmine in here. So jasmine consists of sweet, musky, and sultry, and fresh and green scent. So you're going to get this floral from this fragrance, but it's not a floral fragrance. It's just a, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's not floral, guys. You're going to get these things worked up in it, but it's not floral. <sighs> It is not floral, but you're going to get it. it, but it doesn't stick that way. It doesn't, this fragrance is constructed and built different, even though you see these notes. So the middle notes, you're going to get the patchouli, and the patchouli here is earthy. It's earthy, but not that type of earthy. When you first spray, what you're going to get is this nice, sweet undertone of like a dark soil, but with flavor. Right, because the soil is not dirty in this fragrance. So patchouli consists of earthy, woody, musky scent. Sorry, guys, hold on. I had to burp. So that musky scent that tremendously, that is tremendously rich and deep, and 
sweet, um, herbaceous, and spicy notes. What does that say? Yeah. Sweet, herbaceous, yes. And spicy notes. So the patchouli here, like I said, is deep, it's rich, it's woody, it's musky, it's earthy, but not dirty. This patchouli is not dirty. Now, this thing has something called sweet notes. So sweet notes is these notes melt in your mouth. Notes include per, uh, praline, caramel, cotton candy, and vanilla. Remember what I said here, sweet notes, very dominant in this fragrance. You'd be very surprised. This is a, you know, when I first smelt this fragrance, I was never thinking that it, it had this quality. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, so the last note in the middle, the last uh, fragrance note in the, in the middle of it is spices. See what I'm saying? As you can see, it already has spices in the patchouli, right? So it has more spices now, straight up. So these spices consist of warm spices, cinnamon, saffron. And spices come in two different ways. Warm, I mean hot, and cold spices. So in my, from smelling this, this has a cold spice called cardamom. Now cardamom is a cold spice. And the warm spices are the cinnamon and the saffron. And usually when a fragrance is sexy, it's going to have the praline, the cinnamon, the cardamom, you know, the saffron. It's going to have these things, caramel, you know, when you start seeing these notes or seeing these things or understanding how the notes work, you see where I'm going. Now, the base notes has vanilla and this vanilla is sweet, creamy, slightly woody. This vanilla invokes notes of caramel, chocolate, and cream. So more, more caramel, more chocolate, because praline is like a chocolate, right? And then more chocolate, and then creaminess. Guys, you know where I'm heading to. Home run. Now, this got something called Thailand Oud. Now, when you see this Oud in fragrances, guys, don't be scared. As a matter of fact, if you're into long-lasting fragrances, you're looking for this oud. That's all I'm telling you. Let me just finish. So the Thailand oud is, is woody, sweet, and balsamic. Notes that, that evolve over time. And this note is long-lasting scent. Ensures that it lingers on the skin for hours. Let me tell you something, guys. And I'm keeping it realer than real right here this is at least a 12 hour fragrance on my skin i sprayed it last night woke up smelling it when you see this note thailand oud just know that fragrance is going to last now you got luafian oud now, this is going to be sweet, woody, balsamic notes, often accompanied by the, the nuances of leather, amber, and spices. Now, I wouldn't say you get leather in here, but remember, you're going to have a combination. It's going to be like hints of leather, amber, and spices. You already have spices, and it's giving you more. So, I think these two ouds gives it the real backbone, like long lasting it it keeps involving the sweetness the woodiness that's coming from the praline the vanilla and every other thing and the patchouli and you got the rose you know this fragrance is is so stunning now the last note is called sami sami benzoin now this note is obtained from the resins of a styrax on a Connecticut tree. This is a thick, sticky resin that is has a rich, warm, balsamic, vanilla-like aroma with the hint of spices. You see? This thing is full of praline, full of vanilla, full of spices, cinnamon. I mean, this thing is just, it's in an oven and it's baking 
and when it bakes and when this thing dries down, this smells like a chocolate birthday cake. 12 hours smelling like a chocolate birthday cake, guys. Your family, you cannot beat that for $100. 12 hours, $100, projection, silage is off the chain. Look, my arm is here. I smell it. From right here, see where my arm is? I can smell it. No issues. This sucker lasts and lasts. Look, if you think it doesn't last, you went, you went nose blind. Now, I always spray, I wouldn't say heavy, but I do spray 10 to 12 times. But I, I'm strategic about it. Now, people who want to spray one or two times, this is a fragrance. It's perfect for you. If you're looking for a fragrance where you could just spray three, four, five, two, whatever you want, this will last. It will project and will go for it. And you're going to smell like a birthday, a chocolate birthday cake, guys. You know, you just can't beat that. Chocolate birthday cake. un -effing real with tremendous, and I mean tremendous power. That Thailand oud, when it says it lasts long and lingers forever, it's not lying. Now, I wanted to show you something. So, I covered this birthday cake, chocolate birthday cake. But now, when you're looking for a rich, dark chocolate cake, let me help you out. So, I could just show you a nice layering combo. Like, if you want a different style of a chocolateness, instead of a chocolate cake, this is a deep, like a dark, deep, rich chocolate. What you're going to need is, hold on, take the light off, guys. This is from Premium Blend. It's called Premium Amber Black. Now, imagine this is the frosting on a cake. That's what this, that's what the role of this plays. So when you spray this, this you have to spray first, right? You spray this first, but this is going to act like the icing on the cake. Now, after you spray that, you spray this right on top of it. Now, I have the last formulation of Dior Ohm, whether it was the second one, the third one. It's not the first one. I get great longevity with this fragrance, guys, 12, 10 to 12 hours, but... When you mix these two together, when you mix these two together, guys, let me show you. These two right here. This is one of the most sexiest, deep, rich chocolate cakes you can ever have. Not a birthday chocolate cake. This is straight up uh, like that super dark brown black chocolate cake that you buy, guys. With the nice cream. Sorry, guys. With a nice cream. Like that white cream on top. Woo! Family. That's for free. That's for free. But listen, if you don't want to do that and you don't want to spend the money in that, I feel you. Just buy this. And you got yourself a birthday chocolate cake, baby. Now, you know how we do here, family. I came with the hits. I ain't lying. I'm going to do a lot of these single reviews. Because I feel like, to me, it's going to help me in the future be the best reviewer I can be. You know, I am gunning to be the best that I can be. So, family, this is the fragrance review today. This is the bonus layering. This is sexy beyond sexy. And you know how we do. We praise to the most high. We stay fly. Health is wealth. Man Cologne Channel. Jim Life, and I'm out of here. Peace.